Hi, this is Ranger Rich with Sci-Fi City. Today I'm talking about Deceased 1, 2, and 3 without giving it away. Things start out with a glorious victory over Darkseid. Superman breaks his jaw even, but little do they realize that Darkseid was secretly there just to kidnap Cyborg. We see Cyborg literally crucified with spikes through each limb as Desaad is preparing him for something. Cyborg is his usual overconfident self till Darkseid walks in the room and tells Desaad to quickly remove his tongue. Whoa, things just got real. This isn't like any DC story I've read before. Without giving it away, Darkseid finally gets the one thing he's always wanted, the anti-life equation. But he corrupted it and inadvertently corrupted himself, and ultimately Apocalypse, which Apocalypse is no more. But right before that explosion, Cyborg is transported to Metropolis and is instantly reconnected with the internet where he transmits the anti-life equation image to the internet where it spreads as a techno-organic virus. Anyone who sees the digital image or that comes into contact with the infected blood now becomes a zombie. A few more things happen that you'll have to read, but th it ends basically with a very high probability that Batman is infected. Okay, issue two starts out by answering everyone's next question. Can superheroes get contaminated? In the first issue, we only see heroes without superpowers become infected. Uh, just like, look, look at the cover of issue two, if you see what I mean. Anyway, based on the following examples, uh, we think anyone can get it affected. Aquaman, check. Joker, check. Green Lantern, check. What a great, what a great set of pages for the Green Lantern, Green Arrow, and Black Canary storyline right there. You gotta see that. It becomes clear that there's no cure, and that to survive, everyone contaminated must die, and all digital technology needs to be turned off. We learn this from Batman, who is infected, but uses freeze technology to slow the virus while he analyzes it. Batman provides this valuable information just before surrendering to the virus. Uh, let's just say this issue goes out in a bang. So issue three begins with Alfred fleeing Gotham and Harley running into an infected Birds of Prey, which we'll have to wait till the next issue to see how that turns out. Superman starts eliminating the infected. So far, it appears that he's immune to the, uh, it appears that he's Im immune from becoming infected from blood contact. We don't know if he's immune from the digital image that started everything. It becomes clear to him that he will have to compartmentalize his emotions as he puts down friends and family. It's really kind of sad as he goes through and does this. People that have been part of his life since he became on Earth, and he has to just kind of uh, write them off and eliminate them. It's kind of sad. So Superman runs into Black Lightning and tells him to head to the Daily Planet. Uh, that's where, you know, Lois is trying to start the old analog transmitters so they can communicate with other parts of the world if there's even anyone out there. So I'm loving it. I can't wait to see what happens next. Uh, leave your comments and let me know what you think. This is Ranger Rich for Sci-Fi City. If you like this video, please leave a like and please subscribe.